Hi, and uh, today's topic is clearing the clearing process. Uh, this generally refers to the name given to remove all of the bees that are actually in the super area uh, to take the super frames away ready for extraction and uh, there, there is a process to it. What I uh, did a week ago was to put what they call a crown board in situ with the mechanisms to clear the bees out and I'll show you those uh, items in a few minutes. But the first thing to do is actually go in and see if those bees have gone down from the top box into the bottom successfully. So let's do that. There are only half a dozen frames in this particular uh, super that I want to take off and in all honesty only a half a dozen bees or so up in this area so I can safely take this box off. What I'm going to just do is um, just brush these bees off that are still in here so that I can lift the box off and take it away successfully. I'll do is I'll just show you this clearing board method. This particular method uses what they call a rhombus excluder. It's a, a, a plastic uh, of ma manufacture. Again a proprietary item and as you can see what it's got is a slot at either end of the uh, the rhombus goes down in that direction on the hive and then the bees walk through this area and then subsequently out into the rest of the, um, the hive. Uh, again this is a board that's been uh, assembled by uh, a good friend some many years ago but it's still functional. Very good it is. So we'll just drop that back on there for now. Close that uh, hive up. And then uh, the method is to then spin the, uh, the honey out of those frames, extract it, whatever mechanism, and then bring those frames back to this hive for then the bees to get up there and clean out all the surplus honey that's left in there. Uh, and uh, you should do that with all of your uh, super uh, frames, to be perfectly honest. Some people actually leave them through the winter period wet. I must admit I'm not an advocate of that. But now if we look into another hive, there's a slightly different clearing method on this one. So let's go over and see that.
Okay, on uh, this particular hive, what I've got in here is uh, what they call a porter bee escape. It's a plastic mechanism, it's got pincers uh, inside. Uh, those pincers are either metal pincers or plastic, but I've got to say they have got a tendency to uh, gum themselves up and uh, hence cause issues uh, with the flow of the bees. But, uh, this has been successful in this hive. I'll just show you. done is uh, I've removed the super which was cleared very well with bees. I removed that for spinning and I will then come back hopefully next week once I've spun the honey off put the super back on here in a wet state with the bees then to clean that super up suitable to store for the winter period. So that's all about the clearing process. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.